What's up guys? Son of Feast here. Welcome back to another NBA play-in tournaments of the season of 2K22. The next matchup, as we are about to be heading toward to the Eastern Conference on that side, we're about to be showing you the 9 and 10 seed. It's the Charlotte Hornets taking on against the Atlanta Hawks, the 9th seed and the 10th. Last time it was the Pelicans putting an upset on the Lakers with a dominant score of 80 to 73. Jeez, man, that is just a lot of hard work that they have done before, before they went on to the wild card. And we would have seen LeBron James heading back into the wild card position, but it was a devastation for the look. But for real life, we may not know if they are moving on to beat the Pelicans after that game of play-in tournaments. So, now that the home team is currently done for the Los Angeles Lakers, we'll find out about Atlanta Hawks if they can try to take it in the coverage and move right in towards the back. Here are the starting lineups for the Hornets and the Hawks. LaMelo Ball, Terry Rozier III, Miles Bridges, P.J. Washington, and Mason Plumley. Unfortunately, no Gordon Hayward here for tonight. He will be back if their team makes it or not. And on the other side, we have his Trey Young, Kevin Herter, DeAndre Hunter, John Collins, and Clint Capella. Let's head you over to the State Farm Center, where this game turns to be in between each time of the layup. Let's find out who wins and moves on to the wild card. A view of the ATL, busy as always around the 17th Street Bridge. Good afternoon and welcome to a midday edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Hope you're enjoying the weekend so far. Two slam dunk champs, Grant Hill and Brent Berry, our analysts tonight. Ryan Anderson here, we'll hear from Allie the Force as well. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Danilo Gallinari. And the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. That's not what you want, and I'm sure it's something he's well aware of. We're just about ready for tip-off. But first, let's hear from the sideline. Allie, it's all yours. Thanks, Brian. Well, the Atlanta Hawks rebuild seems to be going as planned. A lot of young talent now complemented by quality vets. Kevin Herter said, quote, our depth is really showing. We go into every game thinking we can win no matter who goes out on the court. Guys? Well, they're poised to compete in the East for a long time now. They keep reporting there. And two of the more efficient offenses in the league. Brent, there are different ways to get it done. That's what makes this match. The key matchup for tonight is Trey Young against LaMelo Ball. Point guarding position. When these guys get hot. I don't care what you're calling defensively. There's no stopping them. So the Hornets started five. Ball and Rozier work together in the backcourt. It's Bridges and Washington teaming up at forward. And it's Plumlee in at the center position. And for Atlanta, Collins at the four with Capella at center. Herder and Hunter fill out the wings. And it's Young in at the point. And John Collins is back. Capella, the pass to Collins. Back to Capella. Here's Collins. He's guarded by Washington. Oh, and it's John Collins! It's Capella, just not letting the defense get to him from that spot. Collins confidently knocks that one down. Only Capella with the defensive effort. Young with it, picked up by Plumley To the left wing. Knocked away. The three from Ball. Nails it from LaMelo three. Ball for three. Don't we'll get into a rhythm from out there. Young against Ball. Pass to Capella. Outside hurt. Here's Young. To the inside. Barry. John Collins. Troy Young. What do you say? Just as important. You love John Collins and his ability to step back and shoot that ball. He just doesn't waste many shots. Here's Ball, and he goes oh, no. the ball. Wow. Always fun by P.J. Washington. Elevated 
straight above the rim like that. Oh, a strong mindset and even stronger finish. Well, just seeking out weaknesses in the defense and then exploiting it. Here's Young. After the basket by Charlotte. Capella can't get it to go. In a league where efficiency is so heavily valued, John Collins' shooting definitely makes him an asset to his team. Well, that athleticism, B.A., and the fact that he makes himself available for those kind of shots, you put that together, it's a tough guy to match up with. Now here's Bridges. Really helps his team on offense, recording 20 points a game. Capella, pass to Collins. Back to Capella. Over Bridges. And he got Fouls the on Charlotte uh, Hornets. Miles Bridges, number zero. His first personal foul. Bridges. Shooting two for the Hawks. Number 15, Clint Capella. Born in Switzerland, school in France. Project in 2014. And 90 minutes in just his first season, D.A. We've seen the Hawks playing in the first round, but already lost against the Knicks. But for real life, the Hawks beat the Knicks by the, by the amazing score of a series. It was four and two for the Hawks to move on to the second round to face against the Sixers. And he can't get the first one. Lots of credit has to go to the Houston Rockets. Brent, they stayed patient, developing Capella. And he's turned into a great center. Yeah, part of that development was being in the G League for a number of games for him to get his conditioning and his feet wet. And then he was amazing during that 2014-15 season. Huge strides and playing alongside James Harden. Capella took a big confidence jump as well. And the second free throw is good. A popular phrase in the NBA circles has become rim runner. Basically serves that live in the paint on both ends of the floor, guys who rack up rebounds and easy buckets. Clint Capella might be the best in the league at rim running. Now here's Rozier, hovering around 19 and a half points a game. His scoring has been huge for them, and he buries the first. Dario Rozier, the first. What I love about Rozier is his fearlessness as a scorer. Inside, outside, in between, it doesn't matter. Well, when you look at the numbers of Capella, Grant, you see a guy who knows his role. I love it. I mean, Clint never attempts threes. He's not looking to stretch the floor. A career 60-plus percentage shooter, Clint lives on dunks and putbacks, and he's always among the league leaders in rebounding. He's just a force down low. Now here's Hunter. For Tony Hunter for three! Focus in on that one. The Hornets have gone three of five shooting so far. Bridges outside. Back to Ball. Pass to Rozier. Now Ball, guarded by Young. That one is off. So Atlanta will take it the other way. They come into this one having outplayed the Grizzlies last time. Oh boy, throughout the game, they got half the Trey Young! John Collins with the assists. And I love when they did force a turnover, they just flat out attacked. The points they got off turnovers swung the game in their favor. Ball finds Rozier. Back to Ball. Yeah, Lamelo Ball. Ball's got seven points. This is by Mason Plumlee. The Hawks call time here. Time out. For the Super oh, Atlanta Hawks. Managing their stars minutes right now. It seems like home court advantage is less of a priority than being fresh for posting. You know what, B.A. really doesn't seem that way. It's like you'd rather play with a stacked hand on someone else's table than play with a weaker hand at home. Championship teams know how to win on the road. The most important thing is being healthy and being together as a group going into the postseason. Here the team comparison, only three assists for the Hornets, four for the Hawks, turned to be with the assist, and just a steal for the Hornets, but nothing turned out to be the Hawks as they only had one turnover. And there you're looking at it, that's Falcon. Oh, I mean, I'm sorry, that's a Hawk to make that one for the mascot of Atlanta. I know that Atlanta Hawks already made it all the way to the Eastern Conference Finals, but they fell just short. And I was hoping that Atlanta Hawks would have lost in the second round. Not for that, they were just keeping it going. But now, let's see how well they do for this season. Gallinari comes in for John Collins. Bogdanovich has checked in for Herter, and Williams is subbed in for Young. Oh, cool! 
Lou Williams. Z6. He's checked in for Bridges. And it's Ubre in for Rozier. Down low. And he says right back at Jacob McDaniels. Two teammates connecting right there. Slick feed. Outside Gallinari. Pass to Hunter. Here's a Kung Fu. Harold defending. That's good from a Kung Fu. Oh, oh, oh Kung Fu. Blue Williams, the assist. Ball against Williams. To the middle. McDaniels can't hit. I have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position. Plenty of space. Just clanked it. Pass to Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich for Hunter, he sits. Ubre against Bogdanovich. And here's Ball, beyond the arc. Gallinari pulls it in. A chance at a two for one if they'd like. And I really can't see why they would. Ball with a steal. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. And he goes Another to the ball. ball with a one-handed jam. If they keep finding steals like that, they won't be in the hole much longer. Pass to Okongwu. Okoro! Okongwu! Okongwu's got six. Oh God, I've done it. With the assist. Lou Williams can score. Once he gets going, he'll set a teammate up too. Here's Ball. Second chance shot. And he lays it in. Another ball. He's got 11. Hard work on the offensive glass. You can see the coaching staff rise up and clap for that effort. It could go. What a clap! Williams! Great job ending the quarter on a high note. Great way to end the quarter there. The team is pumped up. A free flowing first quarter. Great scoring through one. The Hawks on top, up six. Stay with us now as we get set to bring you quarter number two after this. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. And let's take a moment here to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Hawks. Hey, guys, they're passing the ball very efficiently here in the first half. I also like on the offensive end how they're working to get the ball into the paint, into the teeth of the defense. They've made a lot of high percentage shots so far. Charlotte trailing, Lou Williams out there with DeLon Wright. Then it's Danilo Gallinari. Then there's Bogdan Bogdanovich. And it's a great junior. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Hawks. Outside Gallinari. Kakagu, high post. Harrell on him. Right side Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich. Some nice scoring opportunities. And you love Bogdanovich and just the versatility he brings BA. Outside Ubre. Takes one from 10 feet. That shot off. So Atlanta will take it the other way. Back to Williams. Pass to Gallinari. Here's Bogdanovich. The Kongu. Bogdanovich on the wing. They shoot again. Gets rebounded by Charlotte. They want to keep rolling here following the win against Atlanta. Yeah, it was relentless play at both ends of the court in that game. They were able to seize control and maintain it. And yeah, going back and watching that game, okay. there's not McDaniel. one spot on the floor. Jack McDaniel, three. And as for Bogdanovich's ability to play the ball, ball on the floor, the sprint, that's something that adds a lot of value to a player in today's NBA. Think about second side actions in the NBA where the ball swings away from the primary scorer. Can the next guy do something with Charlotte the ball? Bogdanovich certainly can. Does it put it down and make decisions? That kind of versatility pays off.
So for the Hawks, Capella, he's checked in for Okongwu. Collins comes in for Gallinari. And it's Young in for Williams. So Charlotte going with almost an entire new group here. Plumley's checked in for Harold. Washington comes in for Daniels. Bridges, he's checked in for Martin. And Terry Rogier subbed in for LaMelo Ball. Now here's Young. He's putting up some terrific numbers. Over 28 a game. To the right side. Right up top. Back to Capella. And he Capella! Hang on, right with the assist. Physical ability makes the difference. He can get vertical, bump with you, whatever it takes. Oshier against Young. The Hawks have gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. To the paint. Right outside. Pass to Collins. From deep three-point range. Collins for... And there's the call on Mason Plumley. Mason Plumley, the first goal. It's Hurts. Mobile one block. Yeah, good offense comes from great defense. This lead is only getting stronger with plays like that. Now the Hawks taking a change here. Herder's checked in. Herder. Check it in for the Hawks. Kevin Herter. The Hawks have got three of six shots to go here in the second quarter. Right wing. Collins passes to Capella. Over Plumley. Capella draws the double. And the Swing! Capella! Capella's got five. This small advantage is starting to snowball. Yeah, this team is looking to add to the lead, trying to put the other team away. Threatening here. Now here's Bridges. Coming off a terrific game against Atlanta. Looking to win the run. And it's Washington missing. And right now they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Inside. Young. Oh, the Trey Young! Rick Capello and he sits. Trey Young finds his ways into some of those cracks and crevices. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Oubre with it. Herder defending. Oubre passes to Washington. Ten feet away. And he hits the jump shot. Washington's got his first basket. BJ Washington. Passing right there. That makes it just fine. Just in that possession, but maybe on your mind for the entire game. Now here's Herder. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for a Two minutes. First time. Two minutes. Six to shoot. Out to the right wing. Here's Collins. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. He's a guy they count on to produce from the mid-range. He doesn't miss too many open looks from there. Rozier gets the bucket. Never one to back down from a Terry challenge. Terry Rozier. Rozier initiating and delivering in close quarters. Outside Bogdanovich. Capella against Pumpkin. Pass to Collins. Back to Capella. Now here's Collins. Oh, Sean Collins! Good. Capella, he sits. He drops yet another dive. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. You know, Brad, it seems like Collins is one of those guys you can depend on for a 2010 season. Terry Rogier. Yeah, he's a double-double machine. He's as consistent as they come offensively, and with his hustle, his rebound numbers are never lagging. Atlanta with the ball. The Hornets making their last shot. Here's Capella. Oh, he's Play it. Capella! Guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Pass to Washington. Collins against Rozier. Back to Washington. 32 seconds left in the second. Young with the defensive effort. Now here's Herter. Well, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Young against Rozier. And he was fouled while in the active. Point Terry Rozier, number three. 
His first second team foul. Not keeping it. And a line for the Hawks. Shooting two. Number 11. Trey Young. Free throw is good. Young in the 2018 season as the fifth overall pick. Trey Young was phenomenal towards the end of the year, winning three straight Rookie of the Month awards. And both free throws good for Young. A great player on a great role at the charity strike. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. That one no good. And we've reached halftime in this one. And that's it for the first half. Atlanta Hawks 38 and the Hornets 26. Hey, Allie. Trey, you made it look easy so far. How have you been able to pick them apart? Uh, just take what the defense are giving me. Uh, open driving lanes. Uh, they're leaving some of our gates open. Uh, pick and roll, things like that. We've got to continue to do it and uh, try to get the win. Guys, reading the defense is something that he's pretty good at. Thanks so much, Trey. Appreciate it, Allie. And we'll be coming right back after this break. Ready. Now let's have a recap look of Hornets and the Hawks during that time. After two quarters, it's Atlanta out in front. They are leading by 12. And Shaq. What'd you see from Atlanta? They've really established themselves in the glass. Being down there, there has been extra possessions which they've cashed in on. Now we just gotta, you know, bring the same energy to the second half. Kenny, what was your takeaway on Charlotte? Energy on D was just disappointing. They were slow to rotate, communication was bad, no effort. I mean, the statistics are on the board. The D for D was just not there. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. That's it for today. Let's go back to the court of State Farm Arena. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. LaBella Ball with a strong contribution so far in this one. Through two quarters of play, he's been an excellent source of points. Yeah, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Here's who James Borrego is starting the second half with. Paul and Rozier work together in the backcourt. It's Bridges and Washington teaming up in forward. And it's probably in the ball. ball. Number three. Alright, Grant, if you could be GM for one rebuilding team right Two. now. Who's ready right GM? Oh, wow. That's tough. I mean, you got the Grizzlies with Moran, you got the Pels with Zion, you got the Mavs with Doncic. You know, I'm probably. Here for three! Jail! E6! Now here's Rozier. to Washington, down low, all outside, going inside, up and in on the layup, the ball. ball's got five points now in the quarter, and he's leading the charge for them, well, let's be honest, he needs more help if they're going to get out in front, time out, right now to get his full time out, into this lead and give them a chance. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. And you think about the draft profile of LaMelo Ball. Grant we'll be right back after this one. As, good as, as Trey Young and the team will talk things over. Season. While the halftime musician on Harry on the court. Flashy plays. He's been everything you want from a playmaker. Now we're back on court. Here's Collins. He's got nine. Pass to Hunter. And he's Sean Collins, the assist. And here's Rozier. He takes it in. Hey, rejected by Capella. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. 
Collins outside. It's Herder on the wing. He's guarded by Bridges. Here's Hunter. Plumley pulls down the board. Charlotte has gone three of four from distance in this game. Bridges down low. Herder to Miles Bridges. The basket by Bridges. Bridges has got his first points of the game. To the middle. And it's stolen by Plumley. Here we go. Atlanta's going four or five from outside the arc in this one. Outside her. Pass to Capella. Outside her. Back to Young. Launches the three. Can't hit that one. And Charlotte will go the other way with it. Three pointer Rozier. Hunter with the rebound. For Atlanta, they've gotten two of four shots to go since the break. Back to Herder. Shoots over Rozier. Herder gets it. Kevin Herder. Herder's got five points now in the quarter. More and more showing his well-rounded offensive game. That's Herder in his comfort zone. Ball passes to Washington. That one's good. Appreciate Washington. And now it's almost all their Assisted by LaMelo Ball. Atlanta's going one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. To the paint. Here's Capella. That one's Craig good. Capella. Trey Young with the assist. Now in this one. That's three buckets in a row off assist. Rozier outside. And the whistle blows. It's going to be Eugene on Trey Young. On Trey Young. Yeah, his first. His first. first team foul. First team foul. Young. And the change for the Hornets. Oubre's checked in. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. You know. You can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. A little under three and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. Rozier outside. Shot clock at six. Ball. Again, the miss by the Hornets. Can't blame him. Just trying to take what the defense allows. To the inside. Here's Collins. Hey, John Collins. DeAndre Hunter with the assists. With the ball inside is Collins' ability to rise up will produce a point. And Rozier, here we go. It goes up and plays. Gary Rozier. Nice and easy. Rozier's got eight points. <laughs> and despite the height disadvantage. We were on a minute set for a period. Stopping him on that play. Sometimes even the taller defenders were helpless to stop him. Now here's Herder. Five points in the game. Pass to Capella. Ooh, Washington with the defensive effort. Inside. Well timed. He has. DJ Washington. Bucket for the layup. Washington's gotten four this quarter. For Atlanta, they've gotten five of eight shots to go in the third. Capella in the high post. Outside her. One sixteen left in the third. Hornets with the rebound. They've got plenty of time to get back into this. Yeah, I'm sure they feel pressed, but this is when you have to stay calm and execute. And Uber Kevin Uber Jr. Capable of hurting you with timeout. Hawks. Now a timeout call by Atlanta. They're just giving away a run right now. The question is, can they stop the top? Hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. Little change up here. We're going to change it on the other end to try to hit them off on the run. In between those guys, they might be just picking up the pace here. 41 points for the Hornets, 9 rebounds, 9 assists, but 19 turned out to be the Hawks. Two blocks in a row, 4 turnovers. Don't understand what happened to the Atlanta Hawks, but it should never happen just like that before. And no turnovers on the Hornets and no blocks. We gotta find another solution if there's another changeup going on. And the getting ready for the Hawks. 
checks in for Clint Capella. Gallinari comes in for John Collins. Bogdanovich has checked in for Hunter. And Williams is subbed in for Herter. Here's the Kung Wu. He's got six. Williams on the wing. He's covered by Oubre. Williams misses. For Charlotte, they've gotten seven of their first 11 attempts to go in this half. Ball with it. Now right defending. Ball with it. It's against Gallo. Ball, 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 ball. They're making smart adjustments, setting guys up for success. That possession's just way more efficient, I think, here tonight. Taking smarter, better shots, moving the ball around. That's helped them to get back in the ball game. Pass to a Kong Wu. And here's Wright for the arc. Now the rebound goes to the Hornets. Here's Ball. Driving to the basket. Well, no, ball. Ray will draw some attention as a scorer, but that's going to open up some passing lanes. And he doesn't make a mistake that time. Right outside. Shoots over Ball. No good. Well, it's been an exciting game. Plenty of offense as we head to the fourth quarter. Hawks ahead. They lead by four. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. They're getting close right now. Will it be the Hornets with a win, an upset, or Hawks moving on to the wild card? It'll be happening next after this. You are State Farm assist to the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle. You could do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. Ornieka Kongwu is out there with Danilo Gallinari. Oh, Kongwu! Well, when you give him the ball as much as Lou Williams has gotten it through the years, he's experienced enough to make those kind of plays. Now here's Oubre. Pass to Martin. Now ball. Oubre with it. Over right. Oubre can't hit. Good job hitting the glass. They're plus eight in rebound. Right side, Kalinari. Back to Bogdanovich. Shoots over ball. Oh, Williams. Oh, Bogdanovich. He oh, assists. Oh, so wide open, had to give it up. Ball against Williams. Pass to Harold. And here's Oubre from the arc. Rebound Atlanta. They've led by as many as 14. And this poor shooting is a big reason that they're staring at this deficit right now. He needs to get on track. They're going to find a way to win. Here's a Kung Fu. Here's Gallinari. And Gallinari! Emilio Gallinari! Because of the beautiful ball distribution. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Baskets go. Martin. Soft defense. I mean, timeout. I'll let it off. Points inside. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. And one thing I've learned through the years is no matter the situation, there are always adjustments you can make. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. You got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. There was no call for the three-pointer for Danilo, Danilo Gallinari, but that was a two-pointer shot. So it went behind the three-point line, and it didn't really able to help them all save it at once. Four turnovers still, and four steals turned out to be the Hornets. 22 assists was the Hawks, 10 for the Hornets. Not enough rebounds for the Hornets, but they might need to start settling up in motion. We gotta see who has it all in the lane. And just the one number of uh, pick and rolls they need to get things uh, in position. Let's set you back on the court. Check in for the Hawks. Young comes in.
comes in for Williams. And the Hornets making a change here as well. Plumlee's checked in for McDaniels. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Over the break, I listened in on Nate McMillan's huddle. He spoke to his club like they were down in the score. He told them, quote, we have it. Oh, come on, come on. We've had all the leads like this, and we've seen them evaporate quickly. Coach bringing the urgency. Back to you. Good job there, Allie. Thanks. For Charlotte, they've gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Here's Martin. Pass the ball. Harold down low. Lock down to Jordan. And the basketball. Is he gets really excited about finishing through contact. The mellow ball, he says. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone by. Here's Bogdanovich. Here's the Kongu. Goes back up. And a Kiki Kongu. Kongu's got six in the quarter. Doing a lot of nice work now from the field. He's helped get them this lead, and now he's helped them keep it. Ball passes to Harold. Out to Ubre. The three from Ball. The rebound by Bogdanovich. For Atlanta, they've got five of six shots to go in the fourth. Outside Young. Back to Bogdanovich. Pass to Young. And here's Hunter. Harold defending. Outside Bogdanovich. Now a timeout called by Charlotte and the top pick in this year's draft, Cade Cunningham. Grant, I heard some insiders compare you to him. You like those comparisons? Well, he's 6'8 with skill, sees the floor, I think coaches the game the right way. Maybe not the leaper I was, but tremendously talented, and I'm so eager to see how he develops. He's got a bright future in front of him. We may have time for the New Balance player of the game. Let's see what it turns out. Let's take a the New Balance player of the game, LaMelo Ball. And there was absolutely nothing they could do to slow him down in this one. It seemed like every shot he put up went in. <laughs> and his teammates responded smartly by continuing to feed him all night. If you're just tuning in, welcome. We played about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter here. Pass to Plumley. Slam! Mason Plumley. Such a big body. Plumley does possess explosive verticality and then, of course, a power finish. Over to the wing. And here's Herter. Back to Capella. Outside Young. Unloads from 13. Kept alive. Here's Collins. Yes, of course. John Collins. John Collins. Trey Young. E6. Charlotte, they're working against the clock now. Down low. Here's Washington. Capella with the defensive effort. The Hawks have gotten 7 of 9 for the floor this fourth. Pass to Hunter. Plumlee against Collins. Back to Hunter. Now here's Capella. Hunter on the wing. Just five to shoot. Herder with it. Shoots over Lozier. And good. Seven, and the Hawks lead by 14. Now Ball. Rozier outside. From outside the arc. Jerry Rozier for three. Shooter from downtown. Rozier has been consistent in adding this to his game over the years. Pass to Hunter. Herder with it. 
Now here's Capella. Collins right side. It's stolen by Washington. Bridges outside. There's 47 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Capella with a block. And they get it back. There's Ball with a three. And the ball. Three. ball. Three. Such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. Pass to Hunter. This one's a three. It's Hunter four. Once they broke through that barrier, it was all them. Complete control. DJ Washington. They were totally in sync on that play. Targeted the pass beautifully. Ball against Young. to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Trey, you guys had a look in your eyes tonight. How satisfying was it to get this win? I mean, it feels great. It feels great getting the win. Um, at the end of the day, I mean, I'm just here to help my team win whoever we're playing against. And um, that, that's all I care about. Thanks, Trey, guys. Allie, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Allie LaForce, Brent Perry, Grant Hill, and our entire 2K Sports crew, this is Brian Anderson signing off. We'll see you next time. Hawks advancing to the wild card to take on the winning, of our losing team in the C here from in between session of Raptors or the Nets. It's in between those guys, but that's a lot of hard work going on here. But uh, hopefully we'll keep things back here, but we will go back to the Western Conference play-in tournaments. For the next one, it will be the Timberwolves and Clippers tune with us here on Thursday on Son of Beast. Let's present your three-star player of the game. And as for being said, LaMelo Ball, New Balance player of the game, number three. We take you from, the, from this side, um, Yika Okonwu. This one turned out to be 12 points in this game. One assist, four rebounds, turned out to be an incredible performance. Two dunks in between the range. Not too much to hear. Let's bring it on to number two. And number two we brought here to bring one of the best one out there instead of this one. John Collins, the returning man, missing out the game against the OKC Funders. We glad to see him returning from the game, but that's all he has turned out. And it's great to hear him how well he has played before and after. And your number one star goes out to the shocking moment, Lamella Ball. 23 points, 7 assists, 1 rebound, and it just turned out 4 dunks in a row. Didn't really stop the pressure, and he really kept on going. And that's all he had done. So I guess that ends up here for the first part of the play-in tournaments of NBA. I hope you all enjoyed the video here of your Eastern Conference play-in tournaments. We will have more right underway here. Raptors and Nets and Timberwolves and Clippers. So without being said, thank you for watching. As until next time, peace out everyone for as a while as the NBA 2K22 dial along with the NBA play-in tournament dial. Tune in with us next time for another game, and that has been a presentation of the NBA 2K22. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take care, folks.